Hello, this is Vampire. This is a video response to Sensei Rick from DTG Taiho Jutsu. I thought he made an excellent video. Basically, he was covering the topic of biting. And I know it was difficult for him to make the video because A, he felt like he was humiliating himself. Uh, I really don't think so. I think he did a really good job uh, covering a topic that maybe some uh, people would try to avoid because it is a dirty tactic. It is very vicious and brutal. Maybe it's frowned upon. Uh, but when it comes to survival, when it comes to you know not being a victim and for the weaker person to defend themselves, it is a legitimate tactic. All right, so I think he did a great job. Uh, the other thing is he felt bad because uh, this technique can be utilized by bad people. Um, you know, that could be said with a lot of the martial arts techniques that is demonstrated onto the internet or for the public. Any bad person could come and use it. Uh, the way that I'm seeing it is um, I think it's wrong for someone who knows the information to cover it up, to hide it from everybody, from the general public. Like, you wouldn't want the government to do that to us. You know, basically, that's like saying we the public is stupid, we cannot handle it. You know, so if you show the information instead of hiding it, I feel that the good people are going to be responsible. The bad people, well, you can't do much about it anyway. They're going to do whatever they want with it anyway, you know, but hopefully the good people will come together, use it properly, and also, uh, you know, spread it that way, you know, so show and lead by example. So I'm not one for hiding uh, information. So that's why um, I do show the knife stuff, and uh, I am going to talk about this. Now, the way that I do it might be different from the way Sensei Rick does it, and I'm not here to contradict him or anything. It's just I believe that there's many different ways to do a technique. There's many different ways to climb the mountain, so my way is probably going to be different from his. And uh, at the very least, like I said, it's not to contradict the guy, but it's to say, hey, this is just a different tactic, and maybe I can bring up some points that would actually help what he showed or, or maybe some things to think about, okay? First thing is get your lips out of the way you want to get get it spread out you so see you press against it and spread it out and expose the teeth the area that I like to bite with is the back uh, what the molars I like to use the molars because um, the front teeth from my understanding that that I've talked to some now this isn't always true but I have talked to some people who were uh, police and stuff like that and they said that it, it, in uh, such environments where, where you know it's a street fight or whatever a lot of times what happens is the teeth the people who bite they lose their teeth because they get stuck and then it gets torn out our, our jaw structure our, our teeth the way it's formed and stuff is not the same as an animal we're a lot weaker now that may not always be true it may be very very effective but there are a lot of also street fights where people have lost their teeth trying to bite it's actually uh, a two-way sword it could be used against you as well so uh, in that case I like to use the strongest which is back here and and you bite down so that makes it more difficult right the front is obviously right here it's right on the front it's easier it's more exposed it's easier to bite but on the back right here you really have to dig in and press your face right next to it and then use the back part to to basically you're gonna be uh, ripping some skin off okay and that's another thing because it's the back over here you're not going to get necessarily a deep deep bite unless it's like a finger or unless it's you know a small area of the wrist that they're putting into your mouth okay if it's like maybe even their ribs or the shoulder area much larger area you're not going to be able to get a big chunk the idea is to actually get a small piece rip that and cause tremendous bleeding if you watch uh, the Mike Tyson fight the infamous where he bites the ear off of Holyfield and stuff uh, there was another example that I could think of is um, uh, High End Gracie was in a street fight in the back of I don't know if it was Henzo's yard or, or what but they, they had a street fight there and before Mike Tyson uh, high end bit the guy and I don't know if the ear came off and I thought I heard something about they they took the ear and put it in the in the freezer you know was, anyway crazy stuff the fight goes on all right so it's not like the fight is so you know brutal that it, it ends everything it actually so 
it's almost like a Muay Thai elbow that you're using to cut the guy and then the blood goes into his eyes and stuff and then it hinders the guy. So what we're trying to do is put the guy into shock or, you know, not necessarily that it's going to be a KO punch, but it's going to be steps to help you finish the fight. When, when he starts seeing all the blood that you bit out a chunk of his neck or something, okay, uh, that that's going to discourage him. He's going to go, oh my gosh, this guy is psycho. I don't want to fight this guy, you know. So that's what we're looking for not for the bite to be you bit out his jugular and he's dead now that's that's not the idea here